Welcome to Mindful Movement Day 4. Today we're going to focus on core because it rhymes. I've had a lot of requests for core control, trunk control. What I find when you're hyper mobile is instead of relying on these small stabilizer muscles, we rely more on the larger muscles. So having your breath work that we focused on day one, having that down is really important to make sure we're engaging the right muscles. If at any point you, like if you're struggling with that, then maybe go back to day one until you can work back up to it and then come join us on day four. Otherwise, just at any point throughout today's workout session, if you feel core work switch to your back, even if you've only done like one rep, that's our sign to cut off um, and not continue to push through it. I find core control, we keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and then it's kind of counterproductive. So we're gonna focus on engaging the right muscles today, the deep muscles, um, and only do as many reps as you can comfortably while breathing. So we just are gonna start on our backs today on a cozy surface, and let's get started and build some core stability. Cozy surface, knees bent. Oh man, it's my first time laying down today. We're gonna to take a couple of deep breaths in, hands on your lower belly. We're gonna breathe down into the pelvic floor. Let's do three breaths. In, out like you're blowing. Blowing some bubbles or blowing a pinwheel. Breathe in. One more. All right. So let's just do a little knee side to side again. Remember, we're not going full range of motion. We're just warming our low back a little bit, warming our trunk up, our hips. If one direction feels better than another, then you're only going to go one direction. So you could go towards the direction that feels good and back. If it all doesn't feel good, you're gonna do this. And if that doesn't go good, then just go back to breathing. And just find areas that you feel like you need to spend a little bit more time into and spend, spend some time there. Like I feel a little more of a stretch here. Just kind of bringing a little awareness to your lower back while you're continuing to breathe. Okay. We're gonna put your arms up. The shoulder blades are just as much part of your core as down here. So we're gonna keep your elbows straight. We're going to push your hands up to the ceiling. Bring your shoulder blades back down towards the table. What we are not doing is this. We're not doing a chest press. We're not bending your elbows. Elbows stay short, straight. This is a serratus punch. This is a, um, a press with just your shoulder blades. Keep it gentle. We're not going to go crazy high. Some of you can probably go farther than others. We're working this area in here. And one more, and take a break. Go back to two more of those deep breaths. And arms up, we got 10 more punches. We're also not shrugging, we're not shrugging like this. You kind of got your shoulder blades tucked under, arms comfortable, lift back down. You're really not moving a whole lot. And take a break, one more of each, two breaths and then 10 punches. And 
and Ted. I really don't yawn <laughs> much during the day anymore, but as soon as I turn the camera on, I'm like yawning nonstop. All right. All right, this is where it gets fun. We are working your lower abdominals. We're gonna take a deep breath in. As you blow out, we're going to lift one foot and also like your foot and your knee. That's it. So if you're coming up here, we're probably just using hip flexor. We're really lifting here, like a couple inches off the table. You can push into the table with uh, the knee that's bent. So it's gonna be breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. We're not overly flattening your low back into the table. That's not natural either. We're gonna let your body have a little bit of a natural curve. There's gonna be a little bit of space, but we're also gonna tilt your pelvis slightly. So just a little, whoop, that's it. So really, if you're pushing through kind of the heel of the leg is still on the ground, then that should put you in the right back position. I'm kind of lifting from here, but with your breath. We're not sucking, we're not clenching. When you kind of blow out those bubbles, blow the pinwheel, some gentle ab work is gonna be done. One more in each. Little break, just do a little gentle knee side to side. So you know where I feel this is actually slightly my mid back. Um, Cause that's my, my problem area. You also don't have to do what I'm doing with my arms. This is just what I feel like my body needs. So find a position that's comfortable for your arms. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. And yawn, yawn if you need to, it's very regulating. Um, we're gonna do that again, we're gonna add on to it. So today there's gonna be like at least five different levels. That's level one. Well, level one is the breathing, so we'll say that's level two. Only go up to the level that you can do it comfortably. No increased pain. Um, no overachieving here. I know normally when I would watch workout videos, I'd be like, oh, if they give me an option for an advanced version, I'm gonna do it. And so I'm gonna tell you not to do that. We're gonna go to level three next. Again, your sign to cut off is if it switches to your low back instead of your abdominals. If you can't do that exercise while breathing, or if pain, increased pain occurs. Okay, the other thing with core control and the reason we are breathing intentionally is we need to also relax the muscles. A lot of times people are like, I'm gonna work my core, and then you just clench, and you just like never let it go. What we're doing is like, when your foot comes back down, we're, and we're breathing in, we're releasing the tension, then we bring it back. And that's where a lot of um, practice often needs to be done when you're a clencher. So level three, we're going to breathe in, blow out. We're coming up just a little higher. And then when you come down, instead of coming straight down, you can come down a little farther. So let's see. You're relaxing at the bottom. Two more. One more on each side.
and take a break. I am feeling lit up in here. Tiniest bit of back pain, not bad. Um, I think just from landing this position, I have it, and I'm feeling my mid back muscles like fatiguing. Um, oh, that was good. Uh, we're gonna go back to a little side to side. Again, that was level three. Stay at whatever level you need to stay at. And as I go through these progressions, don't increase if you're not ready. This video will be here for you. You can watch it as many times as you need to. Deep breaths way down into the pelvic floor. All right, moving on up level four. We are going to gentle pelvic tilt, like super gentle, like we're moving like a couple of degrees. We're not, not doing any of this tucking. Little one leg up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees here, toes pulled up actively, and we got both. When we're in this position, you're likely to really arch there. Again, we got a little tuck, but we're not overly flattening your low back. If your knees are too high, it'll feel easy. So we're gonna push them down a little bit. And we're gonna breathe. How long should we hold this? Ooh, I got the shakes going on here. Building up some heat. Rest when you need to. And take a break. <laughs> I felt a lot of heat. I felt the muscles in the front of my neck working. Back of my shoulders. Core. Pecs. I don't know about that one. What's funny is when I do core work, my shoulder blades um, and kind of around my shoulder and neck are what get tired, even while keeping my neck totally down. It's just one of the weaker parts of my body. We're gonna do that again. Actually, we're not. I'm gonna go up to level five. So that was level four. There's actually going to be more than five levels, but I'll give you up to six today. How about that? Okay, level five. Safe starting position. And we're going to bring one leg down towards the floor. Lifting from here. If you have popping in the front of your hip, that's called snapping hip syndrome. It's annoying, I know, but it's harmless. Take a break. Comment um, after this video how many times something cracks because my hip and then my knee just hurt. And yawn again. Um, yeah, if you get that uh, popping here, just kind of clicking, that's painless in the front of your hip. Um, it's called snapping hip syndrome. You generally, there's different types, but it's most often um, a overly tightness and thickening of a tendon. Um, so the tendon just snaps over the bony prominence. If it bothers you enough, then just go back to the holds. And level six, we're gonna do the same thing, but with your arms as well. So this takes a little bit of coordination. 
We got our arms up here. We got our knees up here. We got our core gently engaged, but we should still be able to take a breath in and out. We got one leg going down. While that happens, opposite arm comes up, toes stay active, and breathe out, breathe in. I can't do this while talking. We'll do one more on each side. Take a break. Hey, um, by the end of that, I noticed um, I was feeling a little bit more in my thighs. You are still working your thighs, that's okay. But that's also my core getting a little bit tired. So we're gonna do a little stretching. More of this side to side. All right, I cannot stop yelling. Um, I think that's a good start. That was six levels of core control. Pick a level that you're at, even if you want to be at level six. Don't skip levels. Start at level one. Keep practicing until you get it. Then come back to this video and work on increasing levels. Um, eventually, um, you might hit to level six, you might not, that's okay too. So I think as long as you're mastering the first couple, we're getting some good core control, uh, it'll carry over into other exercises because some of our bigger movements like our squat and our deadlift, those also engage the core. Um, and we need to make sure we can kind of find those muscles, those little stabilizer muscles and get them to turn on. So I wanna end with some bridging. We did a lot of flexion based. I'm gonna do something extension based. Knees bent comfortably, push both heels, toes, midfoot into the ground or table. Push them so hard that your hips come up. You might feel an intense stretch here, a little muscle activation here. You're just gonna hold it. What I don't want is just arching your back. Push through your feet, blow out. Breathe in as you come down into your pelvis. And blow out. Push through your feet. Breathe in. Blow out. We're also not going crazy high. You probably can do a bridge way up. We are not coming high. A couple inches off the table. And hold, breathe, my booty's shaking. And slowly come back down. All right, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow for Mindful Movement Day 5. Take your time getting up and grab a big glass of water with electrolytes if you need them um and i'll talk to you tomorrow